Fi. Fi. And it, that threatening unkind brow. And I've not scornful curses from those eyes. Toward thy lord, thy king, thy husband. If not to thy beauty, I was too by the meat. Confounds thy fame. As well in shake fair buds. And in no sense is it meet or amiable. I will be read as I could found it troubled. Muddy. You'll see me. Thick and bereft of beauty. But why it is so and so dry or thirsty will die to sip or touch one drop of it. Thy husband, thy lord, thy life. That cares for thee. And for what thy maintenance commits his body to painful labour, both by sea and land. Towards the night in storms and the day in cold, whilst thou liest warmed home, secure and safe, craves no other tribute at thy hand but love, fair looks, true obedience, such duty. Whom the subject owes the prince, even such a woman should owe it to her husband. And when she is froward, peevish, sullen and sour, well, what is she? But a foul and contending rebel, grace is traitor to her loving lord. I am ashamed that women are so simple. To offer war when they should kneel for peace, or seek for rule and supremacy and sway. love and serve 